Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to make this abandoned church environment inside Unreal Engine 5. Before we get started, I would like to give a huge shout out to all the people who support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. If you want to support the channel, I'm going to leave a link to my Patreon page down in the description. So let's get started with this. Okay, so this is a empty level. Let's start by creating our lights. We are going to create a direction light. Set that to movable. So since we are making a cinematic environment, I'm going to use the HDRI for my lighting. So for the HDRI, you'll have to enable the HDR backdrop plugin. In the HDRI, you can select your HDRI. Now in the HDRI, you have the skylight as well. So make sure that it's set to the same HDRI. So the HDRI is looking pretty good. And now we're going to add a sky atmosphere. After the sky atmosphere, I'm also going to add an exponential height fog. So lighting is pretty much done. So let's add the ground plane. So now let's add in a ground material. This is from the mega scans materials. After that, you can add a post process volume. In the post process volume, I'm going to lock my exposure. So you can just set it to manual exposure and lock that. And in the post process volume, you can also enable bloom. I'm going to add this church model that I found on Sketchfab. And you can also rotate the lighting. So press Ctrl L to rotate the direction light. In the height fog, you can also enable the volumetric fog. And that's going to give you a very realistic look. And if you want to change the scattering of this fog, you can go to your direction light and you can change the scattering amount there. Okay, now let's start working on the foliage. So we're going to add some foliage assets from mega scan trees. So I'm going to add this tree in my level. And since we are working on an autumn scene, we want the color of these leaves to be a bit yellowish. So for that, I'm going to add a global foliage actor. So you can just search for global foliage actor and you can add that in your level. And that way you can like control the color and the wind settings of all the foliage assets in your level. So this is like a cool way to control all the global parameters of your foliage. So this is looking pretty good. Now let's scatter some trees. So if you want to scatter trees using the foliage panel, you are free to do so. But I want more control on my foliage assets at an individual level. So I'm going to scatter these manually. And make sure that you scatter like a variety of them. So make sure that you have like larger foliage assets, then medium sized foliage assets and smaller assets as well. And distribute them properly. So that's going to give your scene a very realistic look. After that, you can also go ahead and scatter some rocks. And I'm also going to add this root asset. If your asset is not matching with the ground, you can open up the material and you can change the colors and all of that in the material. So make sure all assets have a similar color profile and a color palette. And that's going to like make your scene look really seamless. 
And again, you don't need to use runtime virtual textures and all of that to blend these assets. You just need to like match the colors and it looks really good. I'm also placing smaller foliage assets near the larger ones to create that contrast. And you can also add decals. So this is also from Megascans. Again, everything that I'm using is from the Megascans library. And you know, this is a back and forth process. So you can add your own assets if you want. You don't need to follow exactly what I'm doing. So this is looking good. Now in the end, I also wanted to add some falling leaves. So this is a free asset pack on the Epic Games store and it has like some falling leaf presets. So this is a particle system and I've placed this around my level. Now the only problem here in this asset pack is that the direction of the wind is not proper. So it has like a global wind actor as well. So you can add that in the level and you can change the wind speed and the wind direction. Our environment is looking really good. In the end, you can create a level sequence, you can animate the camera, and you can render this out using the movie render queue. So if you want to learn about the movie render queue, I'll leave a link down in the description. I have a video on that. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. That's it. I'm going to see you in the next video.